Hello there. We've got some pretty unsettled weather in the forecast across much of Western Europe and the Mediterranean too. A couple of areas of low pressure to watch. We've got one moving in from the Atlantic, bringing some rain and some mountain snow across Portugal and Spain. We've also got low pressure in the Mediterranean here. Now that will bring some heavy showers to parts of Italy, the Balkans as well. Further north, a respite, some dry weather across the Alps and across Scandinavia, where it's remaining fairly windy with a few snow showers. But let's start off down towards the southeast and Turkey looks mostly dry, still fairly chilly. A few heavy showers affecting Greece through the Adriatic, Croatia, heavy snow for Slovenia for a time too. And you can see the heavy snowfall across the mountains in the north of Spain. At lower levels of Portugal, it'll be falling as rain. That will push into the Pyrenees. Fairly chilly weather holds on across France into UK and across Scandinavia with quite a, a brisk northwesterly wind. The wind across Norway and Sweden will ease through the day on Sunday. Still looking mostly dry for Germany and much of France too but further heavy downpours pushing across the central Mediterranean affecting the Balearics through the day on Sunday. Now here's how the next five days are shaping up and there'll be a little bit of showery rain in both London and in Paris during the early part of next week. Remains mostly dry, fairly chilly in Madrid. Things will turn colder though further east across Europe. We're looking at minus 10 in Moscow by Tuesday. Bye-bye. Hello there. The heavy snowfall that we've seen across California is now easing away, but it will be eastern states that will bear the brunt of some severe weather that's developing through the weekend with a major winter storm pushing towards eastern parts of the US and eastern Canada. Arctic air moving down from the north too. Now it is a quieter spell of weather for the likes of the Sierra Nevada with higher pressure moving in here. Another low pressure system heading into the Pacific Northwest though, so wet and windy weather for Washington State, Oregon, British Columbia too. We've got some snowfall to come through the central plains. Things are looking quieter through the day on Friday in the east before that major storm works its way northeastwards on Saturday. Now it's pretty chilly across much of Alaska and British Columbia, further snow showers over the hills here. Then we see that rain quickly turning to snow as it moves in into the Rockies. Windy weather here too, quieter weather in store for much of California as we end the week. Further showers though in the forecast for Vancouver, Seattle and San Francisco through the course of Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, towards the east then, it's a relatively quiet day on Friday. Sunny spells for Toronto and for New York, still reasonably mild before things turn much colder through next week. Largely dry conditions down towards Georgia into Florida as well, but we will see that storm working its way in towards the mid-Atlantic and the northeast. Some snowfall for Montreal and New York, heavy showers in Atlanta and Miami. Bye-bye. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather across South America and Central America. And first off to South America where we've had recent flooding across parts of northern Argentina, Uruguay too. You can see this band of cloud here, this zone on the satellite image, which has been fairly slow moving and it's just shifting a little bit further towards the north. But we'll still see further heavy downpours across Uruguay and also into the far south of Brazil. Things are looking a little bit drier in the forecast across northern parts of Argentina and some cooler weather through central parts of the continent too. But further north, plenty more of those heavy showers across Colombia, also for Peru and Bolivia too. Mostly dry for central and eastern parts of Brazil, but we've got those heavy showers in the far south to the south of Rio de Janeiro and across into Uruguay too. Buenos Aires mostly dry and a bit cooler than it has been. Windy weather continues down across southern Argentina and southern Chile too. Now here's the outlook for the next five days or so and you can see it's looking dry in Rio de Janeiro, also drying up for Buenos Aires and warming up too as we head through the next couple of days. Across Mexico, things are looking dry, pretty sunny and warm. We've got some showers around for Belize, Honduras, Guatemala too. And across the Caribbean, one or two isolated showers, but a lot of dry weather for the likes of Cuba and across Jamaica. Just a, an isolated, fairly light afternoon shower around. Over the next five days, we could see a few of those showers affecting Havana, but things are set to stay dry and warm in Kingston. Bye for now. Hello there. We've seen some very unsettled weather across the Middle East recently with heavy snowfall in Jerusalem, the first time that's happened for four years. Meanwhile, across Africa, let's start with the satellite image. You can see this zone of cloud here just off the coast of Mozambique. That could form into a tropical cyclone. It will be pepping up some heavy showers across this region. So heavy rain for Mozambique, Malawi, Zimbabwe too. There could be further flooding impacts. Also heavy showers across the water in Madagascar too. Meanwhile, for North Africa, temperatures on the cool side for parts of Algeria and Libya with some gusty winds developing at times too. It's warming up across parts of 
South Africa, but Cape Town keeps those temperatures in the mid 20s over the next couple of days. Johannesburg also hotting up. It's looking hot and dry in Khartoum, but for Casablanca, we are likely to see further gusty winds and some showers over the next five days or so. Now on to the Middle East and the low pressure that brought the rain and the snow across Israel is now moving its way up towards the northeast. Still some heavy snow showers over the mountains across northern parts of Iraq and northern Iran too. But further south across the Gulf it is looking dry. We've got a northwesterly breeze developing through the day on Saturday. Relatively cool weather on the cards across Oman, Yemen and central Saudi Arabia. But plenty of dry weather with some sunshine. It remains dry and settled in Beirut over the next five days with plenty of sunshine in Dubai. Bye-bye. Hello there. Lots of dry and settled weather in the forecast across the bulk of India over the next couple of days. Similar picture for Sri Lanka too. The satellite image shows we've had a little bit of cloud here in the south, but that is easing away. Still some cloud in the far north of India and across the border into Pakistan too. And we're set to see some fairly unsettled weather developing across the north of the region, so up into central parts of Asia. Low pressure brings some heavy snowfalls, some gusty winds as well. But just one or two snow showers for the likes of Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh too. A few fog patches also for northern parts of India, clear blue skies further south. But let's move into the northwest and you can see around the Caspian Sea we've got quite a lot of heavy snowfall moving into Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan. Some gusty winds are also associated with that area of low pressure. Some rain and some hill snow across northern Pakistan and northern Afghanistan too. But a different story as we head south. As we'd expect for the time of year, hot and dry across the bulk of India. Mali also looking dry as does Sri Lanka through the day on Saturday too. Moving towards West Bengal into Bangladesh and we keep the dry and quiet theme to the weather. Lots of sunshine for Dakar over the next five days or so. There will be some rain in Islamabad and temperatures dipping down to around about 13 degrees over the next few days. Some fog patches in the forecast for Tashkent and some snow showers in Astana. Bye-bye. Hello there. The record has been broken in Australia for the highest ever overnight minimum temperature, which was recorded at 35.9 Celsius in the town of Noonar in New South Wales. The heat wave continues. We'll look at Australia in just a moment. But further north, we've had some heavy snowfall across much of Japan. Still a few snow showers to come through the day on Saturday, but low pressure will be easing towards the north and northeast. Still some windy weather, though, particularly for Hokkaido, northern Honshu. We could see up to a metre of fresh snowfall, in fact, by the end of the weekend here. High pressure holds on for many parts of central and eastern China, but we've got a cold front bringing a, a cooler day to the likes of Shanghai, still warm and dry in Hong Kong. Further south, some heavy showers for Indonesia and the potential for a tropical depression to affect the southern, the southern Philippines with some heavy rain. Here's the outlook over the next five days or so. A bit of rain likely for Tokyo through the course of Monday and Tuesday. Now on to Australia. For many areas, we've still got that intense heat, but some respite, at least for a time, we've got some slightly cooler air working in from the Great Australian Bight towards South Australia, New South Wales too. Not as hot for the likes of Adelaide, for instance, as it has been. Across the Tasman Sea, low pressure moving into the South Island of New Zealand, bringing some pretty heavy showers, some gusty winds, although still mild here. Looking ahead, then you'll see those temperatures start to build once again in Adelaide, but it will be cooling down through next week in Perth. Bye-bye.